Nicholas loved being goofy, rapping, playing air guitar, dancing. Was he great at any of this stuff? Maybe, maybe not so much. <laughs> He'd come home from school. Liza, she always got very excited for him to come home, would just immediately start telling him. He would, he'd, get, he'd literally drop his bags on the floor, and Liza would go, okay, time for us to go to somewhere to want to cook out, Starbucks or anything like that, and just. I think the thing that you know, Josh was just very resilient, and very kind. He never gave up. But Nicholas never worried about what other people thought. He didn't care if you were laughing with him or at him. He just did what he loved, and he loved to make people laugh. He would do it anyway, even if he was dead tired. He just would say, "Okay, yeah, let's go do this." Learning the kind of young man that Joshua had become and was becoming um, has brought such a wonderful sense of peace to us because, you know, boys don't talk so much. So things that have been shared from his friends and from the JMU community have made us so really, really proud of him. I mean, it was just like the worst thing ever. Like, it wasn't even something I ever imagined could happen. Like, I thought about really, like, a lot of bad things happening. But it was never something that crossed my mind that I was going to lose my brother. It's a lot to take. Certain days were just unbearable, and others. Knowing that he's not going to be at my wedding, and he's not going to be a groomsman at my wedding. Which is like, I, you know, just knowing that I'm an only child kind of now, like... It's just weird to think, like, all of these things that he's supposed to be a part of. Like, I don't get to be an aunt to his kids. Keep the Fergusons, Troutmans, and Martises together for a while. But now we share this forever.